There is not so much that I said you cannot pray enough because the protocol of your strength is the wait upon the Lord. There is no way a believer can always remain his strength if he doesn't wait upon the Lord. And waiting upon the Lord will always require time, sufficiently time. Always say, many and the challenge of believers is how much more they rush the presence of God. When you go to your office, you are demanded, mandated to remain for more than 10 hours in the office. It is from the communion and how much more you fellowship in the office that you are able to transact and do business in the physical. And then you are rewarded and pay a salary in the mall. Calculate the amounts you spend in your workplace. Calculate the kind of investment you put in your business. The kingdom business is also a business. What you pay is time. Until you invest such required kind of time, you may never get anything from God. A lot of time we come to the presence of God, we are rushing. Two hours of service can never change a believer. If you require you to do the extra more, there are many children. They go to school every day, yet they do not understand. When you employ an external tutor, they go to do extra moral classes. That extra moral classes make them to become the best student. Any believer that wants to have an advantage must understand the way of extra moral. Yes. That beyond this service, men to pray with the Lord all the time. Learn to always do this thing. Let prayer not be the things you do in church and we close. The required time of the input of prayer may never be sufficient. And in the days and time when God will beckon upon you to pray, in keeping to the time of life for the fulfillment of the prophecy, it may never come to pass because you were weak at that time. Every prophecy has a required kind of time of life. Every prophecy has an instruction. If you don't know what to do, if you don't know the kind of seed, the kind of sacrifice offered the embryo of your altar of prayer, because you begin to traffic angels. And as long as you can engage angels around your life, your life will be miraculous. The strength of prayer to you is how much more they engage the angelic beings. And that is the result. Why is every time they receive strength from God? When you don't pray, demons will be resistance. They will build a barricade. It will be like a barracks, a conglomerate of darkness. As a result of that, the people will call strong goals. Those their are strong goals become a fortress of defense. There is a reason why the devil is after your prayer. He knew that your prayer life is the arrow is the epicenter where which your entire life thrive. Jesus Christ came upon this kingdom. When he came upon the face of the earth, he taught two things. The first thing he taught was the kingdom. The need for us to go for the But today, one of our challenges, as good as it is, is to get the souls of men. But more importantly, is to preserve the soul. Because one of the greatest challenges in the body of Christ is how many people go to hell from the very church. They are doing Sunday service today, but in time to come, their soul is still lost again. One of the easiest ways to maintain a life in Christianity is to learn the world. If you don't carry the fire of God, then it will come. And when it come, you will lose your soul again. Anytime we come here, there is warfare. Anytime we come, but nobody buys here. If the sun is there, bring it here. The Bible says Paul was preaching, somebody fell and died. At that moment, he lay hands and the person came back to life. The devil cannot become the greatest in the day and time when we are alive. He's alive. I don't preach a dead God, I preach a God that is alive. If God is not alive, I will drop the microphone and follow Babala. Does not produce result. There will be a challenge. Your brother will ask you why. Your father will ask you why. Your sister will ask you why. Your husband will ask you why. God is alive. He's not dead. That we should never prosper when we are alive. No. No. Jesus Christ taught you this. He taught the kingdom the need for them to go. And he prayed because the kingdom of God is at hand. But when he was about to go, he began the kingdom prayer. Because the kingdom of God will be prayed without prayer. Men that preserve to the kingdom are men that pray. Men that do not pray deny the kingdom. They deny, they deny. We cannot be holier than people who say, I do not know him. Because prayer was not his people. After he prayed, he was bold enough to die. She said, you will deny the kingdom. You will deny. If you don't deny the kingdom, you compromise. Then you give you 10,000 naira, they will sleep with you. 
If you come and say 10,000, you are saying 1 million. If you come and say 1 million, somebody give you 20 million. There is somebody that has a price to pay for your body. Somebody can pay a price to take you to hell. Somebody will pay. It's not a big price for the devil to pay. You can pay it. The devil is willing to make sure that your soul is sold for anything. And that is why the Bible speaking says, I wish above all things that you prosper. And be in good health, even as your soul prosper. In today, men prosper at the detriment of their soul. They are willing to live a life so to darkness and die, not attaining eternity. It is only the way of prayer that can make you preserve your soul and also prosper in life. Because if you make 10 million today, without the Lord being part of it, the morning spirit will come. Devil will come tomorrow. And one day you will go to meet with Allah so that he can be protected. But when you pray, anything that God gives you, He will preserve it. But mind you, anything you get by prayer, you will preserve it by prayer. Yes. According to scripture, there are three things that men ought to do. The Bible says men ought to work. No matter how you do, there is a specific kind of work you must do in the kingdom. According to kingdom jurisdiction, every man must work. When God created us, part of our greatest responsibility is to do the work of God. As in your life, I know you are a businessman. I know you are a married woman. I know you are all kinds of things. Are you doing the work of righteousness? Are you doing the work of the kingdom? How does the kingdom prosper by your life? You are living a life of waste. In heaven, you don't have to stop. In the days where your soul is required of, when they look in the vistas of heaven and open the book of the man pass, you don't stand there. Every man has a work of righteousness. Every man. When we go to heaven, Paul the apostle will talk about how he has conquered nations. Stephen will talk about how much he has conquered. The Bela will talk about what she did. Esther will talk about what she did. Everyone will talk about what they do. You will come alone. They ask you what did you do? You manage, you manage to escape to come to heaven. Manage. The Bible says that the world there are cows. It is appointed that every man ought to walk. You must do the work of righteousness. There are placement in heaven. Men that are not kingdom are men that have done certain level of working in righteousness. And their life has become a testament and a proof of a seal of their working. So when God wants to do a thing, he consults with them. He said, as elder, that's a tongue with the work of righteousness. I know you are part of my throne and government. He, inquire now. Tell me, this mortal man upon the face of the earth. What is the word you like to this mortal man? They will evaluate you and say, according to your working in obedience in God, you don't have an excuse. If you say temptation, Joseph will appear there. Everything you say, there is an elder in the spirit that was able to pass through the same thing and overcome. But he's working in righteousness. Every day asking the Lord to forgive you, where will you stand strong? And let your faith begin to produce result. Christianity was passed down to you because men were responsible. Men did kingdom business. Men went on an adventure. They have presented the Lord with the whole of their life and they are willing to die. Apart from what? Every believer upon the face of the earth, every mortal man must learn the way of prayer. I will say men ought always to pray. In the Luke 18 for 1, it said that this parable, it was spoken that every mortal man has the tendency to fail if the mortal man do not pray. That is why every religion on earth today must pray. Everyone subscribe to prayer. Whether Babalao or whether God, it does not matter. Any kind of thing you must subscribe. No man will ever survive by himself. According to the way that the mankind was structured, is that every mankind must work. You must walk and you must pray. In the book of John, when Jesus started to speak with the Samaritan woman, he let her understand the third thing that men ought always to do. He said, Men ought always to worship. Every man worship. Our texture and design is that we must worship God. Anything we worship apart from God is an adoration. Many people worship their husbands. Others worship their clothes. Others worship their clothes. Others worship everything. That is it, bow down to nothing except God. Anything that you worship other than God is idolatry. Many of you have made your boyfriends your God, your perfect. I said, don't go to church tomorrow. Come to my house. 
and he has become your God and Lord. As a result of that, God come to you as Jehovah's abroad. The man of war and he judge you. And he took away the boyfriend from the sea. And today the boyfriend is dead and you have to return back to God. Anything you worship will die. Anything you worship. If you love some people so long, God will come and take it away. I have learned it in the way of the kingdom. I don't like anything for so long. Because anything you love, God will ask you for it. For God so loved the world. But God loved his son so much. And what of the requirement to redeem the world was to give his son. Anything you love will be what God will demand to take away from you for the glory that he will give you. You are prestige, you are academic, it will amaze you, you become the best student in your class. The day you begin to follow the Lord, your GP will return to zero. You fast and pray, refuse to rise. No good in your business. You are prospering by your wisdom. And so that the Lord will come after you. Why? Because the dimension of the glory requires a kind of sacrifice that will cost you something. And when God look around, what will cost you something is what he has to take. You want to be like Catherine Coleman. Do you know what God took from her? He took her precious sweet husband. Maria with your auditor, her husband left. Amy's in the first her husband left. Every dimension of glory demands something from you. Are you willing to pay the price? Are you willing? You don't want to go through shame, you will go through shame many more times. God will disgrace you, allow people to travel upon you so that you come to a point you are dead to yourself. Then you begin to meet you again. He will allow you. Let the business crash. Let every door close. Suddenly he begin to open the door. To let you understand that I am the one that opened the door that no man can shut. And when I shut it, no man can open. How does God lift men? God bring others down, then he lift others. Every level you desire to go, somebody is already there. For you to go there, God will bring somebody down. That is why men must have to fall. Others will have to rise. Many kings die because many people go and pray. If you want to be promoted, sometimes your boss will not be willing to give it to you. If you are not in life, pray. God can take him away. There are a billions and one people upon the face of the earth. All past fight, all past. The reason why you are the way you are is because somebody is fighting you, you will not know. Why do you think that everything you do is crash? It's because an altar is against it. You think everybody like you know that is this thing that we say in the kingdom love everybody is a lie. Jesus Christ cost many people. I realized that one of the reasons why some people are not because they have not learned how to begin to release curses. So so far that you should leave. You must learn to curse some people. You must learn to decree judgment upon the people. So let the high priest of God be upon their lips and they put a sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon the city. I realize that a vengeance will still need to be able to execute. There are men that have bound themselves with an oath that they will never eat or drink until they bring some of us down. As such, we must ensure that whether it's a bank, whether it's an organization, whether it's a political figure, we must go down. Many of you have done nothing for the gods who have been to like you. But somehow they still like you either way. And that is why when you begin to rise, they demand for you to come home and die. Because anybody that the gods like will be used for sacrifice. The way of the kingdom is the way of war. Such shall we survive. 